Hi there. Today on this James the Bike Guy, we take a look at my 2018 Santa Cruz Hightower. Uh, this is a uh, Hightower Carbon. This is the C version. Uh, it's the second one I've had and I really like this bike. This bike does a really great job of handling everything from, you know, technical sort of single track style trails that I'm out on today, uh, all the way to on my old one, I took it up to, you know, a, uh, a downhill bike park and it handled it, uh, it really quite well. So uh, this 2018 uh, has a couple of updates and some things that, uh, that encouraged me to get it. First off is going to be this uh, Santa Cruz white, uh, but if you take a look at it, it's really actually kind of a gray color to it. Uh, it's funny, outside it's got more of a gray look. And if it's inside under, you know, fluorescent style lights, it'll actually look a lot more like uh, like a white bike. But so this bike is set up with 150 travel up front, uh, courtesy of a RockShox Revelation. Uh, this is the new Revelation with 35 mil stanchions, uh, basically the same chassis as a uh, Pike. Only real difference is instead of the motion control. Uh, it uses this uh, charger damper, and I can certainly say that the charger damper does not seem to do as good of a job as uh, those, or excuse me, the motion control damper definitely doesn't do as good of a job as the, uh, the charger damper does. It's uh, kind of hard off of the small bumps, but once it gets into travel, uh, the suspension feels pretty good. The rear shock here is the Fox Float. DPS. Uh, this is the Evolve, uh, so it's got kind of that extra volume cartridge. Really a, a nice shock with, you know, a, uh, uh, a firm position, medium, and then fully open. I found that uh, setting it up in the fully open and then riding it in that medium has felt uh, pretty good. Now, uh, this bike I did purchase from Santa Cruz as a plus size version. Uh, I am running it right now with 29er setups, uh, and the 29er wheels that I run are the Bontrager Covey Elite, uh, which is a carbon wheel. The Covey wheels are actually laced up to a pretty high engaging hub here. It's actually 108 points of engagement. And that hub has worked out uh, really well. Now. Uh, at the moment, I'm running a Specialized Purgatory and a uh, Mavic Quest tire. Uh, this isn't my typical setup, but it's what I had, uh, had laying around to be able to get the bike built up. Now, on the drivetrain, up front we've got the uh, Praxis Works uh, Girder M30, which has got a 32 tooth chainring to it, and then on the back, We've got the SRAM GX Eagle uh, with the 10 to 50 range cassette. Uh, I've noticed that for the most part I'm not using that 50 tooth cog, uh, but the few times that I have it's been a, uh, a real nice addition for sure. And we're running front and rear 180 mil rotors on the bike, you can see uh, on there, and that's uh, stopped with the uh, SRAM level TL brakes. Uh, I really like the feel of these levers. At some point I might upgrade and put the guide calipers on, but uh, the levers feel uh, just about as good as any out there. Now I'm running a, uh, a 50 mil race face stem with a carbon fiber uh, Bontrager Line Pro uh, handlebar. Nice lightweight bar with uh, just a touch of rise to it. And then in back, we've got the Bontrager Montrose Pro carbon railed saddle and a Bontrager line dropper seat post. Uh, the seat post works awesome, has very little play, and uh, overall I'm, I really like that uh, on this bike as well. So that's an overall bike check of my 2018 Santa Cruz Hightower. Uh, it's been awesome out on the trail. And I definitely recommend looking into one of these if you're trying to find a new trail bike. Thanks for watching this James the Bike Guy. 
To subscribe for more, go ahead and give a click to the scale in the center. And remember to like the videos and comment below to let me know what you think.